of what the situation is along the beaches and essentially how people are adhering to the safety protocols and indeed the requirements that have been given out uh, by the uh, authorities. Of course, the team is being led by the uh, regional minister, the Honorable Henry Corte, and he's going to see for himself. So, uh, just briefly, so what are we to expect on this trip? Well, um, today is the last day of uh, Operation Stay of the Beaches. We are going to tour uh, the boundaries within Greater Accra, from Adda to Kokrobite, to see how well uh, the people have complied with the directives and also see how our men are faring on the ground. In no time, we were 600 feet above the ground, observing events along the coastline from a bird's eye view. From the Air Force Base in Accra, the team flew over the Labadi Beach, Sakumono Beach, all the way to Ada. After about 45 minutes of flight, the team headed back to Accra. So there was just a quick stop here at the Independence Square. The narrative that we're getting is that the exercise has been largely successful. And a combined team of the Immigration Service, the Ghana Marine uh, Police, and then also the SWAT have been here, giving you an indication of how serious indeed that this exercise has been taking. Soon, we're back up in the skies. At Kolena, Chemuena, Choco and a few other spots, we observed heaps of rubbish and plastic debris. This is in spite of the Coastal Development Authority's Clean Beach project. Henry Corte said efforts are underway to rid the beaches of the filth. The agencies tell us how to do that. So indeed we have to call them, we have to take briefing from them. Let us see what they started. I have been reading, now I'm sitting in the chair. What is it that they started? What are their plans? Timelines, where, have, where did they start from? Where have they gotten to? Where do they intend to get to? How do we uh, fuse in and then ensure that they are able to deliver? Uh, let's make a crowd work, has the sanitation, everything under it. But you see, with things like this, Madina Zongo Junction is something that you bring your initiative, you are good to go. This is a policy. And so you cannot just come and start implementing your own policy. I don't have the locals to do that. So even if I have to do something. You need to go back for briefing. In all, the minister observed that the operation stay of the beach as was initiated by the regional coordinating council was a success. The uh, Comptroller General of Police, um, Immigration, the Ghana Armed Forces, uh, all of them, uh, they commenced uh, operations on Friday. Uh, first day was good, second day very good. Third day, perfect, and today I say super excellent. Uh, you have been with me at your question. I've told myself with my team, I told on Friday, some parts, Saturday same, Sunday same, but today, including your good selves, we, we have told from Ada all the way to Kokrobite. And if you agree with me, I can say on authority, of which I call you a witness, the media, I call you a principal witness in saying on authority that the security and intelligence agencies have done a very, very, very good job. Well, so it's been close to two hours of flight in the MI-17 chopper of the Ghana Air Force. Well, we've been with a team of the Regional Security Council of the Greater Accra Region inspecting the beaches here and essentially along the coastlines trying to ascertain the level of compliance with the operation stay off the beaches orders as were so issued by the regional coordinating council and also by the Ghana police service. Now from the Air Force Base here in Accra, my name is Manuel Granting reporting for Joy News.